Oh, it beeps when I when I when it stopped recording. I'm so sorry. It stopped recording for some reason. I don't know why. It's been doing. It did that uh, the first time too. Anyway, doubt. You don't want to doubt, but when you do doubt, you have to talk to God. You have to tell God how you're feeling, and that's what starts a good relationship with the Lord. Because see, people think that in order to talk to God, that you have to do everything right. But that's why you talk to God, because we're not doing everything right. And this life that he's given us to walk in is totally new. It's new to us. We don't know how to do this life. We need to learn how to do this life. And we need to learn how to do this life everywhere we go. Everywhere we go. In the store. And everywhere we go. And we want to teach it to others, but on the level where we are. Now, if I was talking to grown-ups, it would be totally different. When I talk to grown-ups, I usually, like in, in my other videos, I usually sit down with the Word of God. And a lot of times, I just read the Word. And be, the, because the Word that I read is in the, um, what is it called? The Message Bible. It makes so much sense. Like, what I'll do is, I won't, it's called fasting, but I won't eat and I won't uh, drink or I won't, uh, like, go eat certain things or I won't, like that, I, I fast. I, and, uh, and I'll ask God, Lord, what can I say in order for the people that I'm going to speak to, I want to be on target, I want to do the right thing. I want to be able to, you know, communicate what you're saying on their behalf to them, but I want you to say it through me. So what I usually do is, um, excuse me, what the Lord usually does is he'll give me certain scriptures. He'll give me um, specific scriptures. And then you can tell that those are the ones that are needed because, you know, they'll say things like, I remember one time I was ministering to adults and, uh, I don't remember what the subject was, but the day's subject is, it's not hidden, it's just silent. Because by you being a young person, you're out there, you're, 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 in, you're in the city, you're in the stores, you're in the schools, and you, you don't want to be boisterous with your Jesus, but you want to be expressed. So he's, he's letting you know that the gift that he has for you is in there, it's silent, but you need to learn it. You need to learn how to use it. And the way that you learn how to use it is, again, read. you got to read the word and you got to continually talk to the Lord. You've got to do that. Those are the two key things that pushes you closer to God, one, but it also allows you to know that God is speaking through you because you're going to begin to talk to him about the leader that he has set before you, the leader that he wants you to to grow under. You always have to have that leadership. And remember in the other video, what I said, you've got to do those three things. You have to obey authority. You have to listen to authority. And you have to honor authority. And honoring is not only doing what they say, but you have to do what they do. You have to do that. And if you read the Bible and you see that your leader is not doing something that is according to the word. You don't go to the leader. You go to God in regards to the leader. And, and those are the teachings. Those are the, the ways that you know that, you know, and then you'll see it. You, you'll, you'll begin to see God changing the situation. Because sometimes, like I said, as a young person, we think that people are wrong. But it's not that they're wrong. It's just that they don't know according to the word of God. So he, he does one of two things. He'll either show us where we are error, where we are wrong, or he will change the leader. Okay? So we don't have to do anything. Because as a young person, a lot of times we kind of get the big head. And we don't want to get the big head because that right there is not God. That's not of God. You want to do what the Word of God tells you to do. And you want to not do what the Word of God asks us not to do. And one of the things he asks us not to do is to doubt. Okay? Now, you got your homework assignment. 
you want to write a small or short story or tape a story about how you feel when you doubt the situation around it, etc. Okay. All right. Now, uh, in let's see, Matthew's two is where we left off. Uh, in the 16th verse, it says, Then Herod, when he saw that he was deceived by the wise men, was exceedingly angry. Now, right there, wise, there's another word that, that the letter is not his, excuse me, is not hidden, but it's silent. W makes a w sound. Remember? I. It makes an I or it sound. And in this case, it reads I. S reads S. Now, and then there's an E. Now, this is a rule. Remember, writing, reading has rules and patterns. And one of the rules that you will remember with sight words is that when you have two vowels in the English, vowels in the English language, because remember the Spanish is close to it, and we learn some Spanish Spanish words, and one the one that matches this one is called inteligente. Okay, um, but this word, this letter right here, makes this letter sounds like it is I wise. See wise. And this is here, but this word is not hit, excuse me, this letter is not hidden, but it's silent. Okay? Now, uh, in, the, in the other realm, which is your spiritual realm, you're going to learn that there are things that are in you, like drawing, for example. Drawing. Um, maybe when you started drawing, the cities of gifts. And remember, you got to know this, that the word talks about gifts and callings come about repentance. So you can still do them when you are not filled with the Holy Ghost. But now that you are filled, they become more pronounced. They become more detailed. They'll become more, like, since I've been, uh, writing uh, my visions that the Lord blesses me to see, I've noticed that I can draw. I, I didn't know I could draw. I, I mean, I'm drawing stuff that I see. <laughs> okay. And so with your drawing, this is just an example. It's not hidden. It's just silent. And, 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 in, and in order for it to be like with, Oh, excuse me, to have a louder voice, you have to begin to show it to people. And then what happens is they'll, you'll hear things like, wow, I knew you could draw, but I didn't know you could draw like that. That's really good. You know, whereas on one side of the, the coin, they know you can draw, so it's not hidden, but they didn't know you could draw with such detail, but it's silent. Okay, so these are the comparison between the natural and the spiritual. The natural with your eye, remember, if it's not hidden, it's silent, that means that it is a very good, a sight word. It's a word that you have to remember how it's spelled because it doesn't sound like it reads. Um, uh, doubt. It does not sound like it reads. Because if you were to sound this word out, because remember when we first start learning how to read, we read sounds like bring, bring, ring, ring. See, you, you read the sounds. But as you grow up, you have sight words. And spiritually speaking, it's the same way. The same way. It's like you 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 can see you can see what's going on the lord begins to reveal things to you the lord begins to speak to you i mean he's been doing it all along but usually through your parent 
you know, ah, don't do that. Ah, ah, you know, <laughs> and you begin to learn your parents voice. I remember one incident where I, I, I used to whine all the time. I mean, really whine. I mean, I was 21 when I would really do it with my mother, but what she would do was she would say, a, B, C, C, D, 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 like, you know, A, B, and she would like modulate her, her tone so that I wouldn't sound like a oh, well, the other day when I, I would sound bad now that I think about it, and I'm thankful that she would do that. So what she did in turn was allow me to have a voice that was bearable, and that's what God does through us. He allows us to have a voice that's bearable. So that when he speaks to us, we can hear it. He allows us to hear his bearable voice. He allows us to hear, oh my child, or, or the Lord calls me little one. He says, little one, do this. Little one, say that. And But before it got to that point, I would listen to what my mother would say. Or I listen, to, I, I, I know I change it from pastor to mother because they're the same person. But now that I hear what she's saying is in the scripture. I can hear it better because now that I know that I have to teach it, I really can hear it better because you have to follow authority. You have to follow the leader. You have to do what the leader says do. And you want to do it through the word. You want to be able to find what they're saying in the word of God. And in order to do that, you have to learn how to read. <laughs> and if you cannot read, that's what this homework ministry is all about. It's not there to judge. It's not there to, it's, 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 it's because you're crying out to the Lord. You know, I'm tired of hiding the fact that I cannot read. I'm tired. Of, and then the nice part about it is as you learn it, you're being asked to teach somebody else because what you learn is, is a benefit. What you learn is not only a benefit to you, but is a benefit to others. I mean, every time I learn something, I got a job doing it. I'll never forget how that worked in so many ways in my life. I was going to school to be a chef, and I got a job as a chef. I was going to school to be a nurse's assistant, but before I got out of school, I got a job. Uh, I, it was just phenomenal. I was going to school to, um, to learn how to be a nurse, and before I got that, I, I was a med aide. You see what I'm saying? It's, it's just phenomenal. You, you get a job doing what you learn because you, you have a passion for it. Be whatever you have a passion for, you want to do your best or be your best at it. And right now, you might not have a passion for reading before now. You might not have had a passion for reading before now because there wasn't a way to do it, to learn it. But this way, if you learn something, you learn the sounds of the alphabet, you know, maybe that's all you learn right now. The I, the B, the K, the S, the D, or the song A, B, C, D. Remember the song? Um, I'll sing for you in just a minute. But the thing is, whatever you learn, you teach it to somebody. And the more you teach it, remember the rule I told you that my pastor said, the more you teach, the more you'll be given to teach. And it's so true. I mean, and, and I get excited to teach you. I get excited when I know that the Lord has given me something to say to you. I mean, I'm, I'm at home doing one thing, getting ready to um, uh, crochet a hat. I've, I've been crocheting hats, and uh, the Lord is teaching me how to do that. I, I already knew how to crochet. you got to give them something to work with. But So I already knew how to crochet, and one day, you know, he says, I, I had took the scripture to him. I said, Lord, it says in your word, that on the inside of us are hidden treasures. And because they're hidden, that means that you put it there. So you're the one that knows where it is. And then it says treasures, which means I can do something that's already in me that you hid there that's going to bring me money. So and I went to the Lord with that scripture, and he always reveals the scriptures to us. And he doesn't just do it just so we can say, God revealed a scripture to me. No, when he reveals something to you, when he shows you how to do it, then that means he wants you to do it. And if he, and if you do it, you reap the benefits of the reason why he showed you how to do it. 
So I'm sitting on my bed, and the Lord says, little one, I have a job for you. I want you to make hats, and I want you to give them away free. So I started making hats and giving them away, giving them away. And one day my pastor, I made my pastor hat, and one day she asked me how much I was selling them for. And I said, uh, $10, you know, <laughs> I mean, I really did say it like that, too. $10? And she said, I know you're giving them away free. <laughs> how much would you sell them for? And then I said, $10. And she's like, Oh. And it didn't just click. I mean, you know. And so, as soon as she made mention of it, and as soon as I followed the principle of giving first to your leader, um, I started getting orders for hats. So I said ten dollars, and the first person that I made a hat for gave me a twenty dollars. And I was like, oh. so then when I told her twenty dollars, she said, oh. I mean, she got a little, oh, you know, that was a big. It was the same word. Or to, oh, so when she said that, then she said, well, why don't you make some hats for the Bible conference? So I've been making hat, making hat, making And then people be, oh, I like the hat. Let me buy it. I like the hat. Let me buy it. <laughs> so then I was selling it out, and I had to hide my hats because I wasn't going to have any for the Bible conference. But the thing is, whatever you do with a passion, it shows excitement in what you do, right? So as you're learning to read, just read. And then the more you read, the, the, like you'll be like, I can read. I mean, like when I read Spanish, I read Spanish. I, I, I read uh, uh, the Bible in Spanish, and, and 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 then it has the English like to the to the the right of it. So it'll be in Spanish in one column and the same scripture in Spanish in the, in the other column. So I'll read it in English. Like I'll say, let me go to the rest of the verse. It says, and he sent forth and put to death all the male children who were in Bethlehem and all its districts from two years old and under, according to the time which he had determined from the wise men. Okay, so the same way I read this, I'll practice reading this in uh, English so that it'll flow. Then Herod, when he saw that he was deceived, let me read the next verse. Then was fulfilled what was spoken by Jeremiah the prophet, saying, and then I'll read over here, uh, and then I'll read it in Spanish, but with the same passion, with the same pause, with the same, so, and that's what you want to do. What you read in English, you want to take the time to, to, to read it slow, um, you may not, may not understand it, but then as you read it out loud, remember, you want to practice reading out loud, especially when it comes to the Bible. I mean, there's a lot of books out there. But if you practice reading the Bible, you're actually talking to Jesus in his language, because this is he. And um, you'll begin to understand. He'll begin to reveal. See, there's two things that's going on. He's One, he's teaching you how to read. And two, he's revealing. You're, you're talking to him, yes. But then he'll begin to reveal what you're reading. Because it's, it's sort of like you like to play basketball. You want to play basketball. You want to be a basketball player. But you found out that when you go to college you get to play basketball but then you got to take science and it's like what does that have to do with basketball but if you ask god that same question he'll show you he will show you in your life how basketball is going to bring people to him he will show you no matter what it is you want he it will no excuse me no matter what it is that you do he will show you how you helping others will bring them to him so, I mean, you have it great because if you're all you're learning how to read is the Bible, you're only learning how to read the Bible, then when you show somebody what you've learned, you'll be reading the Bible to them. Hey, I learned how to read this. Sit down for a minute. Let me read it to you. <laughs> See, now you're reading the Bible to somebody. See, you're doing great. Here you go. You're ministering and don't even know it. Well, now that I've told you, you know. But anyway, these are sight words. The words that... Um, you have to remember are called sight words. There are sound words and sight words. And sight words look nothing like their sound. The difference between Spanish reading and English reading, I should have bought my book, is you sound out every letter. You sound out every letter when you're doing Spanish reading. So that's why sometimes you'll notice that I'll say a word and then I'll do it in Spanish, the, the, the Spanish translation of it. 
Let me see that I skip anything. Okay. A voice was heard in Ramah, lamentation, weeping, and great mourning. Rachel weeping for her children, refusing to be comforted because they were no more. Now when Herod was dead, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt. Now, the next word is Egypt. This is another sight word. 